welcome again to the Explomo YouTube channel. It has been quite a while since you hear my eloquent words introducing a new episode. I might sound a little bit calmer than usual. However, this certainly does not come without a valid reason. The place that we're highlighting today is both stunning in and out. Yet, in whatever way, the story behind this place is guaranteed to create an eerie silence within you. In this quaint municipality somewhere in France, a chilling mystery unfolded as the lifeless body of 53-year-old dentist Jorge Brion was discovered in his 19th century mansion three years ago. Wrapped in a plastic sheet, an autopsy revealed a deep wrist wound and signs of restraint around his neck. The investigation took a dark turn when a 30-year-old man was arrested, charged and imprisoned in connection to the actual murder. The suspect, known to have spent time in the past at Brian's residence, was romantically involved with the erudite Argentine dentist. As investigators delved deeper, they found Brion's wallet in the suspect's home, though his phone was still missing. With the motive still unclear, the case grew more sinister. Was it an intimate game, gone awry, or something more calculated? As the town held its breath, more details were set to emerge at an upcoming press conference, promising to unravel the macabre mystery of the beloved dentist's tragic end. Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour à toutes, bonjour à tous, bienvenue sur le28.tv. Le procureur de la République a présenté à l'instant les premiers éléments de l'enquête concernant le décès de Monsieur Brion, retrouvé mort à son domicile à Coulon. Un suspect a été arrêté et a présenté les circonstances de la tragédie qui seraient les conséquences d'un jeu sexuel qui aurait mal tourné. Le corps qui s'y trouve s'avère entouré de plusieurs épaisseurs, drap, à l'aise de matelas, draus, couette et donc une bâche. Le légiste constate notamment la présence d'importantes taches de sang au niveau de la partie abdominale gauche d'une plaie profonde d'environ 10 cm de longueur au niveau de la face antérieure du poignet gauche. Dans le rapport écrit qu'il remet aux enquêteurs, ce légiste expose que la plaie existante au poignet a été à l'origine d'une hémorragie importante et que l'examen du visage a révélé la présence d'un, je cite, « champignon de mousse pouvant faire évoquer un décès par asphyxie ». De multiples investigations ont été lancées de plusieurs natures. Ces différentes investigations amenaient les enquêteurs à s'intéresser dès le lendemain de la découverte du corps de M. Brion, soit le 18 février, à un individu domicilié dans le département de l'Essonne, sur la commune de Villejuste. En effet, il était, il était assez rapidement établi, grâce à des témoignages à la téléphonie, que cet individu avait a priori passé un certain nombre d'heures, le samedi 15 février puis le dimanche 16, au domicile de M. Brion. Au terme de ces déclarations évolutives, la version du gardé à vue est la suivante. Il a fait la connaissance de M. Brion par le biais d'un site internet de rencontre utilisé par la communauté homosexuelle il y a de cela plusieurs mois. Ils se sont vus à plusieurs reprises. Puis ils se seraient livrés à des jeux sexuels de type dominé-dominant. Au cours de ces jeux, alors qu'à un moment M. Brion jouait le rôle du dominé et était à ce titre attaché par une corde et que lui était le dominant, il aurait accidentellement blessé son partenaire au moyen d'un couteau au poignet gauche. Monsieur Brion aurait alors perdu beaucoup de sang et serait décédé. After all this drama, everything turned silent again. A 
And yet, after three years, not even a single noise was witnessed anymore. No relatives, no real estate agents, literally none and nothing. This grand place has been turning into oblivion ever since. And today, the first sounds will be reminiscent again to its sinister story. Follow me as I venture inside of this imposing building to puzzle an enigma still waiting to be solved by me and my friends, Urban Explorers. Welcome back everybody on a brand new video. As you can see today, we're gonna explore this grand mansion right behind me. Now, there is something very terrifying and horrible about the story of this place I'm gonna show you today. The backstory of this mansion is rather morbid. Back in 2020, there was Mr. Jorge, a man that was born in Argentina. He was a dental surgeon and he was actually found murdered inside this place. They never found out who did it, but eventually when he didn't show up to his dental office anymore, he didn't respond to phone calls and the town or friends were not receiving any news from him, the alarm bell started ringing and they actually found him wrapped in a tarp, surrounded by ropes in his bed in this place and he was already dead. Now, we're gonna explore what's left behind today. It's a little bit more emotional than it usually is, but with much respect to him, I'm gonna explore this place. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, let's just go inside right now and show you what's left behind. So we just made our way inside. And we're gonna start today's video in the main living room of this place and have a look at this. Despite its tragic history, this place is still bursting with so much elegance and beauty. What a splendor and what wonderful furniture was all left behind there. After the homicide that happened here, it looks like nobody ever came back. So I think Mr. George didn't have any family. Or maybe the family was not allowed to come here. Because there was still a case going on, I don't know. Well, I can understand why nobody actually wants to buy the place up. This history is just very morbid, like I told you at the start of this video. Well, we still have some beautiful porcelain vases standing on top of the fireplace mantle over here. I also really like the slances. Have a look at this marvelous bust standing on top of the marble pillar. I also just noticed this little tag over here on this bust. It's from 2019 and I think this was some kind of tag for an auction. So it looks like they were trying to auction this bust off. There was even still some wood and some tools that they use for the fireplace left behind. The mirror is gorgeous. Very huge in size, like you often see in the French chateaus. 
Uh, today we're not exploring a chateau, but this wonderful manor. Somewhere our rural friends. You can tell that it was a second house, by the way, and not a primary home. And that they were still working on some kind of renovation or doing some house chores. Well, you can tell those are real plans because they're completely dry and barren. I love how they painted this desk. Over here is still a note from 2016. I believe that the homicide happened in 2020. So definitely not too long ago. So I think it's definitely a right theory to believe that they're still working things out about the court case and what the research is going on about what truly happened there with this dearest man, Mr. George, who's not under us anymore and has departed this earth. His life has been taken in a very cruel way. So let today's video not only be a simple walkthrough of this place, but also a memory of him. I'm just in love with this room. It's so untouched for most parts. But then in one corner over there, you can see that there is a lot of dump of stuff. And most of the stuff is actually stuff that you use for renovations and things like that. So, yeah, it makes you wonder. It probably also is a way to explain it because it was a secondary home. We have a map over here. A lot of notes. It is actually written in Spanish. It's saying Barcelona, 12, 12, 2012. We have a name Jorge over here. Jorge, yeah. So Jorge, which is actually a Spanish name, was the name of the man. Jorge. He actually worked in a dental clinic not far from this place. I don't know why those electricity cables are cut. But anyway, let's close this up again. Still a speaker over here. And like I told you, a lot of stuff has been dumped around in this corner. And then from the first living room, we're actually coming inside of an hallway. The main hallway where they once walked in. You can barely see the front door anymore. But this used to be the main entrance of the place. And now it's completely cluttered with a lot of stuff. Partly done by vandals, I think. Also... Partly done by an owner, since there are definitely signs of renovation again. There's some parquet flooring over there. And this huge, what is it? Shutter or a door. Also a chandelier on the ground here. Some paint. This is definitely a part of a headboard of a bed. But hey, we can already capture a glimpse of a wonderful spiral stairway. And later during the exploration, we're gonna walk up there. And see what the other bedrooms look like. Also a painting over here of two dogs. And here's one of the last calendar dates, 2020. 
this place is definitely very very messy I believe I can go to that side let's have a quick check all right well just some little storage right underneath the staircase some more storage over here. I believe this actually leads us to an area that we've not found yet. Yeah. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh, it's very smelly in here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in here, I'm sorry, but this is a very messy kitchen. And since Mr. Jorge actually got killed. All the food, of course, is still in there. Has never been moved and cleaned up. It's, ugh, it's awful. There is so much dirt and red droppings and mold inside that fridge. Looks like he also got an animal. Well, I hope the animal also got saved in time since Mr. Jorge didn't show up at his office and didn't respond to any phone calls and that's when people started worrying oh wow I don't know why they did this but there is a wonderful bust right in the toilet what a shame it doesn't belong in there also a wonderful mirror by the way in this fireplace. Strange place for in the toilet. There is also one other door over there. But I believe that's just going to the outside. So let's just go back here. And that leads us to another room and I can already capture a glimpse and it looks phenomenal. Guys, wow. <laughs> Have a look at this. Wow, what a marvelous room again. There are a lot of fake plans in this room. We also have kind of a checkered floor pattern. That you sometimes see in those kind of novel mansions. Mr. Jorge also definitely liked kitsch with all those plastic and fake flowers and plants. But despite that, this very breathtaking room inside. To see something like that in a place that's abandoned and forgotten about. Wow, have a look at all the moldings. Marble plates on top. Wonderful frame over here. It seems that they also definitely like squirrels because I've seen another one of those squirrel pillows in the other room. It's actually so sad exploring the aftermath of somebody's life right now that has literally been taken from that person. This person didn't have a choice. I don't want to think about it too much, but once again, definitely filming this with a lot of respect. Not here with any criminal intention, just documenting what's left behind. Look at all those porcelain birds. Even this kind of Egyptian pharaoh over here. Angels over here. 
and then you've probably already seen it but we've got a wonderful grand piano I must say for such a short amount of time being abandoned this place is pretty dirty and yeah definitely also has some decay and a musty smell also definitely still working I actually do believe all of those plants are fake but yeah this one is it fake yeah it's also plastic this one look not quite real like one of those plants that doesn't need a lot of water Oh, and the chair actually fell down. It only still has one, one pause missing, as you can see. Try to fix it. There we go. Now let's see what other things we can find in this room. Oh, there is a metronome over here. That's something that you don't often see in those places. Bird again, lamp, and have a look inside the cabinets. We still have magnificent chinaware over here. Let's see what's written behind them. Bernadotte, made in Czech Republic. It also looks quite moldy, I must say. It's really strange and at the same time intriguing to see how quickly such places as this can deteriorate. Well, very captivating room. We have some more fake plans over here. This kind of oriental frame over here on the wall and have a look at this guys this is actually a drawing kind of painting from the mansion back in its heyday nowadays the front garden is completely overgrown and surrounded by roots and increasingly grown vegetation Back then it was still a vivid place, nobody knowing what would happen a few decades later with this dearest man. And that was it for another incredible room. On top of there you can also see he definitely had birds flying around there, not a bird's cage. And then it's time to go up that spiral staircase that I just pointed out. You can tell that this also looks quite unfinished, but I can only remember how it was probably back in its glorious heyday, maybe covered by a carpet. Now, the thing that I just found out is that Mr. Jorge actually only lived there for one and a half year when the incident happened. Look at this. A wonderfully carved wooden statue with some kind of animal right underneath it. Could be a dog or something. The wind over there is also smashed, so the elements, rainwater and winds, cold breezes are all coming inside of this mansion. So right now we're actually gonna see the room where this man was found wrapped up in a tarp, surrounded by ropes, right on this bed is where Mr. Jorge, the dental surgeon, was found dead. Can't believe that it all happened here. Looks like he maybe had apnea or something because 
There is an oxygen breathing mask with an oxygen device over here. Oh my gosh. This is like a walk-in closet. Have a look at this. Over there are all his gentle suits that he wore to the dental clinic and everything. His shirts. And another thing that's quite disgusting. Sex toys. Yeah, well, everybody his own hobby, of course. <laughs> Have a look at this also with all the velvet curtains. Very unique. Oh, we're talking about unique. I also love the chandelier over here. Looks like it was also a belt that was used for doing kinky things. We have a lot of paperwork over here. This is again written in Spanish. Actually, the origin of Mr. Jorge was Argentina. What made him move to, to France is still unknown to me. Wow. Take a look at that wondrous mirror. Some more paperwork over here. A receipt or some kind of document from 2012. Those are even still car keys. Love this part of the bedroom. Have a look at this. It's quite modern, to be honest, but I love how there is firstly a mirror over here, and then there is this other little corner going here. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is quite luxury. <laughs> this is kind of an Alhambra theme, but around ornate carving to a door entrance like that. Single wear, still the razor, some soap. Those are not working anymore. Now, if I show you the outside, it's also wonderful since there is a little river flowing right behind the house. And then this bathroom, very luxurious, really reminds me of an Alhambra team. Is the toilet still flush? Nope, not flushing anymore. Definitely quite a luxurious place that Mr. Jorge had, even a secondary home and not his primary home. Still remains the question, why did this dearest man that was doing so well in life get murdered? I believe we have a picture over here of Mr. Jorge. I 
think that's him. Together with some family. Over here we have some other family members dancing at a party. And then from this tragic room where it all happens, we continue our way on the upstairs. And there is another room right on the opposite side. First we have a lot of pills and medicine over here on the grounds. Another little room which seems quite messy, but there are also a lot of pictures. Oh, take a look at this. This was like a library room. Little office desk as well. Some more photos. I think this was his son. I've seen him also dancing with the woman in the other picture. I don't think this is Mr. Jorge, but if he is, he was very young. Actually, the answer is yes, this was Mr. Jorge. Because you can see a picture of him over here in the dental clinic. I believe this man is in his 30s, maybe beginning 40s. Way too early to pause away. Can't believe he just diseased. He got killed, murdered. So the woman over there in the picture is probably his mother. Over there we can see them inside the house. At a very warm house in front of a fireplace. There was even still a diploma over there that's saying his name. And he got it for being a dental surgeon. He actually got his diploma in Catalonia in Barcelona where he used to live sometime. That's probably also where he did his study and everything to become a dental surgeon. Another sign of renovation over here in the corridor. Now let's see what's behind this door. Oh wow. Guys, have a look at this. We have another bedroom. Very elegant again. A very spacious bed. And Mona Lisa over there. Oh, I actually love this cabinet. That's wonderful. So dreamy. Kind of oriental style with this color team. <laughs> MP3 player over here. Beautiful candle holder as well. Look at the statue. Looks like it's some kind of god. And over here is also a wonderful bench. Oh, wow. Have a look at this seat over here. Truly marvelous. What a wonderful antique. Just left to rot right now. After the horrible thing that happened there. Another beautiful frame. 
of a time gone by. I believe, yeah, those are also again some plastic plants for the people wandering. I love the glass chandelier again, by the way. And also this room had its own bar room. A lot of clothes are still here. Like they were left to dry after the last time a laundry was done. Finally what what awaits us is the attic. I believe there is not that much to see over there. But I just still want to show it to you to be as thorough as possible. So let's see what we can find. On the final floor of this mansion with a very tragic backstory. Well, this definitely used to be another part of a wonderful mirror. It seems there is definitely still a lot of stuff on this floor. Some things over here. Some puzzle of paint as well. Definitely storage, storage and storage. Oh wow, some wonderful mirrors again. Oh, some more storage in here. This looks like it was just left in the midst of its renovation works. Like they were working on building another room over here. But that eventually never got finished. Since this dearest man, a talented man, who was doing well in life, Mr. Jorge, got brutally murdered in 2020. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let's take a last peek in his garden. A little pavilion over there. And the lake right behind it with the little river. Now guys, that was it for another video. Another place in France completely forgotten about. This time for, yeah, a quite obvious reason, but still, you can't believe why they're not doing anything with it. I think it's definitely still in court, a case that they can't solve because they don't know who murdered him. And that case is still going on. So, all I want to say is I explored this place with a lot of respect to this dearest man. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, as always, all I want to ask you for is smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel right down below, it's free, and also leave a nice comment down below. Also, of course, check out my friend Leslie, who joined me on the exploration. His YouTube channel, Bros of DK, is linked in the description as well. And then, as always, I want to send you much greetings from France, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.